the cup of tea. Yes, it was worth the brutality, the Indian suppression for this little bag of bliss, the Englishman's confection. You see, back in the early days, the East India Company, responsible for Britain's tea, had its own army to guarantee the regularity of supply. The cup of tea. Not only does it taste marvellously, but you see symbolically, though the contents of the cup may change. Don't think it's strange at whether fabric or diamonds or oil or mineral wealth won through business or spoils. It'll all come over like a cup of tea, whether Chinese, African or Iraqi. You see, proper tea is theft.